What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Braces Explained. I hope you guys have all been doing awesome and if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. What we're going to be talking about today is an orthodontic appliance that's cemented on your top teeth that's called the Nance appliance. So let's go. start on today's episode, I actually want to share something with you guys that I've been working on over the past couple of months, and that's a bunch of t-shirts and sweater merchandise that are pertaining to braces. If you guys haven't noticed, they're right below this video, and it's all linked out to a Teespring. And if you guys are interested, go ahead and check them out. I actually have some new designs coming out every couple of weeks here. And for those of you that have already purchased the shirts, make sure to follow me on Instagram at DrGregOrtho and tag me so I can repost you guys so everyone can see how cool they look. So back to what we're going to be talking about today, and that is the Nance Appliance. So the Nance appliance actually serves as two different purposes in the mouth. One thing that it's used for is for anchorage, which we've talked about in a previous video and I'll touch on again today. But if you want to learn more about anchorage, check out the link right here to my video about TADS. And the second thing that they're used for is for space maintenance. So before we dive into space maintainers and anchorage, let's first take a look at what a Nance appliance is. So a Nance appliance is an orthodontic appliance that is cemented onto your molar teeth and has an acrylic pad that rests across the front of your palate. The acrylic button rests flush against your palate so that food and other things don't get stuck between this acrylic and your gums making it hard to clean. There's also a wire that runs across the palate from one molar to the other that's soldered onto bands. Now if you guys don't remember what bands are, I reviewed them in a previous video which I'll link out to on the upper right side of this video. So the first thing a Nance can be used for is for anchorage. So the concept of anchorage is that whenever we put a force on two separate teeth, they're both going to feel that force and react. Now just like two people in rolling chairs, if we were to pull on a rope, we'd both slide towards each other. But imagine if one was a big 300 pound person and another one was a child. The 300 pound person will move a little bit, but the child's gonna move a lot more, right? So what we wanna do is basically make the tug of war in the mouth that occurs, so to speak, the people in the rolling chairs, to work to the benefit of what we're trying to achieve. So for instance, if we were to take out one of your premolars, we wanna make sure that we use that space to resolve the crowding or the protrusion. We don't want your molars to slip forward. And to prevent those molars from slipping forward, we'll use the Nance appliance. So what the Nance appliance is, is that it wants to minimize the amount of movement on the teeth and have them anchored there and make it so that the teeth that we're trying to move actually move more. It does this by basically pushing against the palate and using the palate as an anchor. So when we try to pull the teeth back, we use the palate as kind of like an emergency brake to push off of. So let's look a little bit closer on how this would be done in the mouth. So let's say we have a case where we extracted your first premolars and wanted to use maximum anchorage meaning that we don't want your back teeth to slip forward at all. Now, in some cases this is what we want, but in other cases you might want the molars to come forward just a little bit, so it really depends on what your orthodontist is trying to achieve. But let's hypothetically say for the case of this story, we want to have maximum anchorage. What we would do is have a Nance appliance on the top and use that to hold all the back teeth together so that when we're bringing back your canine tooth, we won't have the molars slip forward. This is because as there's a force between the back teeth versus the canine, just like that tug of war we talked about before, as your molars are trying to move forward towards the front of your mouth, the Nance is pushing up against your gums and preventing the teeth from moving forward. So this basically makes the tug of war a lot more to the advantage of the back teeth. And in this case, your canine tooth will lose that battle so to speak, and move backwards without your molars and premolars moving forward. And this is what we would refer to as maximum anchorage. The second thing a Nance appliance can be used for is for space maintenance. When we lose our baby teeth before we're supposed to, either because of cavities or because of trauma, what tends to happen is our molars and permanent teeth lean forward and they start migrating closer and closer towards the front of your mouth. What that does is that it encroaches upon the space for your adult teeth that still haven't erupted. A lot of the times what will result from this is that we'll have crowding because the amount of space that we had in the mouth just became less because the permanent teeth drifted forward. 
Now, dentists will use a bunch of different ways to maintain space, which are called space maintainers. But one way you can maintain space in the upper arch is by using this Nance appliance. So the Nance appliance holds on to your permanent first molars and basically makes it so that they rest against the palate so that the molars don't drift forward over time. Now, what this will do will, is allow for the permanent teeth to come into the space that is maintained for them now that the baby teeth are missing. Because remember, the purpose of baby teeth is to maintain space for your permanent teeth. So if we lose these baby teeth too early on in life, what tends to happen is we'll see crowding of the permanent teeth and sometimes they'll actually get impacted like a lot of you guys have asked about in the comments of previous videos. So what I want to show you guys is one of my patients that actually had space loss from early loss of their baby teeth. Now, the case I'm going to show you is of the lower jaw, but the same concept occurs on the top jaw. What you can see is a patient that had a baby tooth that used to be there and there. And what you see is that when those teeth were lost, the back teeth shifted forward and lost the space in that area. Now, there are permanent teeth that have no room to come up. So as you can see over here, this tooth only has that much space for a tooth that's this large. And over here we have another small space for a tooth that's much larger. So to prevent space loss in the lower arch, we can't use a Nance appliance because there's no pallet. What we'll use is something called a lower lingual holding arch, which I'm going to show in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that one. So, to recap, a Nance appliance is used for a bunch of different things, but the main two purposes is for anchorage, so to prevent the back teeth from moving forward while we're trying to close extraction space. And the second reason is for space maintenance, so that we can maintain the space that would have been lost because of the early loss of the baby teeth. This will prevent the future need for extractions or impactions. If you guys have a Nance appliance, please leave it in the comments below. If you guys have any questions about today's video, feel free to ask them to me and I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you guys can stay up to date with all these videos. That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For now, Dr. Greg, out.